Ether One or Ether One is a beautiful game about dementia, or at least I think that's what it was. I can't really remember. So this game I think is about dementia. I don't really remember. So this game I think is about dementia. I don't all jokes aside, this is a beautiful puzzle game about a dementia patient receiving an experimental treatment which allows her to walk through her memories to restore them. This game came out in 2015 and was released to the PS Plus store for free and I think that's why a lot of people have probably played this or at least spent a little time playing it. Originally I thought it was sort of like a horror game because there's literally nobody about whatsoever so I was always expecting something to happen when nothing ever really was going to happen whatsoever. It's a great little puzzle game and in one of the games where I tried to get all the achievements for and I never managed to be able to do it because of one of the achievements that you have to do which is to get all 20 projectors and one of the projectors is in sort of like a little cave puzzle and I'll explain that a lot later when we get to it but I never actually managed to finish it and I really do want to just try it now and I'm going back for it on PC and going for all the achievements. This is where you'll come across one of the first projectors. This one might not even be one of the ones that you need for the achievements, but it sets the precedent for what you need to be doing as the side puzzles in this game. Technically, you can go through and only ever do one projector, and you can completely complete it because it's based off of ribbons as the full sort of thing because they're like fr memory fragments that you need to collect, but the projectors are more for the achievement side of the game and the actual puzzles. Other than that, if you completely ignored this, this would be a really nice story game game about a dementia patient which collects ribbons through her memories to restore them uh, but you don't really need to do this but for the achievement you will need to do this one. This first projector doesn't even count towards anything but I think it's here just to show you what you're meant to be doing if you want to do them a lot later on you just grab this reel put it on and it's done. This first achievement I accidentally did because I actually didn't remember to do Remembrance Repairer. I did it by mistake because there's a lot of fuses in this box here and I just went over to this side first. There's a letter beforehand that if you read it, it tells you about James putting a broken fuse inside of the fuse box. I just took it out initially because I just thought, oh, I'll probably need to replace this if there's a ton of fuses over here. So I just did it and then got the achievement by mistake um, because I just thought, oh, there's going to be a load of fuses over here. I'm going to have to switch this out before we do it. And and yeah, I didn't think about it, but I just sort of did it out of force of habit of like doing stuff before you get told to. And yeah, it worked out and I got a free achievement out of it, so. After sitting down in this evil looking chair and having a wall built around me and then being submerged in water, I didn't die, but it's part of the procedure apparently is to just drown the patient. I had been transported into a little room which allows me to store objects and also all of the ribbons and all of the other stuff that I need to restore my mind. We are then transported to our first memory where nothing really happens at this top half at least because it's more focused on the second area where you're actually put into the mine. All you have to do here is look at a plate, turn it over, read a code, remember the code, I don't know that's pretty hard for a dementia patient, and then put it into a door, unlock the door, walk down some stairs, and then we're given our first sort of real puzzle. This is where you have to sort of look at what's in front of you and turn these wheels, and what's actually going on is there's another board that shows you what way the wheels are meant to be turned, turn them that way, pull the lever, then all of the floor disappears because it's flooded, and then you get to go down a lift. This is where we run into our first projector and this one is where we get taught about how these sort of puzzles work. It's a main focus in this area to progress but then isn't a main focus in the rest of the game and sort of more of a side project if you want to get all the achievements which obviously I do. This one is quite straightforward, all we have to do is grab this big bottle, put it in a hydraulic press, press it, grab the shard of glass that we got out of it and go around cutting all these pipes. Once all the pipes are cut, this door opens, you grab a book and you go and put it back on that desk where the note was and then the projector is built. After you finish watching the projector, this door opens behind it where you then have to walk down this area and you find what I'm guessing is meant to be dementia. Uh, you kind of hydraulic press it. Unfortunately, hydraulic pressing dementia doesn't make it go away, but it does make a random door spawn and then you get sucked into it and then all of a sudden you're just flying through a bunch of memories that we've never seen before but this person obviously knows about and then you get transported back to the main room. 
into our first big area now and in this cupboard i'm just going to say this now you need this little wheel thing so do take it we're in our first memory now and this is obviously i think where we grew up it's a little town called pinwheel harbor and in here you're really meant to just be looking around for all these ribbons there's eight of them collect them all and then you're done with that bit but we're here for the projectors because this is part of the achievement for this first projector you need to grab the stamp that's in this drawer place it on the envelope type in this word then order one of those post it to the post office and then go inside the post office and your parcel's instantly delivered which is really nice grab that go upstairs into the little boys room or the little girls room i don't know one of the two go in there put that in the little box and then that is that one done for this next projector that's in the blacksmith you want to grab that wheel thing put it on the fireplace and then turn the fireplace on and then go upstairs and lower this little bit of rope into sort of this lathe then turn the lathe on so it spins and pulls the rope an anchor will drop behind you and smash the floor in Go upstairs and grab this cable, go through the hole in the floor and then put the cable in the gap where the wire is and then turn the switch on. Walk a bit further down and that projector will be done. For the projector in the pub you want to type in JD Taylor here, these are the bottles that have been stolen from around the town and they have that exact picture on it and that's where that sort of correlation comes from. You want to grab the little like dial wheel that we grabbed earlier and go and put it in and then to put in 15 13 open the door get the key go over to the door unlock the door open the door go upstairs and steal this guy's boat then come back downstairs go outside walk to the left and up the river and then you'll see three boats that are ready to race each other and obviously one of the ribbons is there put the boat in there and watch it win the race and then come back and the projector is done you want to go into the workshop for this one and then close the door behind you. This will then open the door that's locked in the room. Once you go in there, you want to pick up the little bell hammer and then look out the window at the boys that have the bells on them outside. Watch for their little pattern, repeat that on the bells inside and then come back downstairs and the projector will be done. In the next area you want to head over to the arsenic house and then fiddle with these little pump pressure controls and make sure they're all at the right ones. Spin this wheel and then spin these two other wheels to turn the ovens on. Come and raid this cupboard and grab some isopropyl ethyl and then go back to the fires and make them blue. Flip this lever and watch a minecart fill with dust and then walk back straight upstairs and then the projector will be done. For the next projector you want to break into Sean's locker and steal this mug and then sort out these pressure controls again and then obviously you know turn the wheel and then all you want to do is go over to the coffee machine and then clean it and then put some coffee in a mug and then you're done it really was that simple and I actually walked past the projector several times it being completely done and I just walked past because I was following a tutorial because I didn't get how this one worked and I had done it ages ago and I just never noticed that the projector was fixed for the ore tramming projector you want to fill out this blackboard with information on sheets that is dotted around the place you have to kind of read all of them because they have key information on them so it's worth picking them up then you have to turn some wheels on this ventilation unit and then flip the switch this technically isn't a part of what you're doing here you need to actually restore this by picking up this lamp for a later projector but it's got nothing to do with the ore tramming one this just needs to be done for one that's further on because rebuilding this allows you to get a path up to the next projector you'll be transported into a room where you just hear some people waffling about nonsense you just sort of have to sit through it until you get tp'd back out you want to break into this desk and grab the hammer and then go over to these pipes and tap out we will rock you and then all of a sudden these minecarts come along and then you're done that's that projector completed for the next projector you want to open the industrial pulley door and then make sure that the hook goes down onto it and do the same for the other side because these pulleys then pull the lift up that you take in a second you'll want to then sort out these pressure controls and then just spin the wheel as all ways then take the lift upstairs you'll then have to fill up this blackboard with information found on sheets around the building you'll then want to put the sheet of paper on this sort of like wheel contraption and turn it on and then it's completely done we got this achievement clever clogs for restoring five projectors a little while back considering that we've done more than five but i thought i'd mention it now because we're finished with our second area and this is where you would have the achievement if you've been doing these already I lied, there's one more. This pinwheel industrial water pressure points is attached to another projector that's up here and these ones you have to sort of dot on this map where these big smoke towers are on there. Basically that's how the correlation works. So you see a big tower, you put it in the grid. Once you've done all of those you have to go downstairs and then go to this water pump thing. You have to then adjust these gauges to correlate with these weird little like 
the pulley bell things that are around there. They have specific numbers on them. It's like 12, 7, 3, and 10. You have to go and put those in in whatever order, really, because uh, it actually works no matter what way you put them in. Come upstairs and obviously just click on the projector, and that's actually another achievement done. So this achievement, Smarty Pants, is for doing 10 projectors, and that's how many we've done so far, so no wonder we've got this. And there's another achievement coming up. We're after taking some photos inside of a house of what's clearly been quite a serious case of a domestic something going on. I'm not entirely sure. There's a body on the floor, so it's pretty serious. Uh, yeah, we then get transported back to the original place where we came in at the start, and instead of, uh, you know, being an idiot and being what this game's all about and completely forgetting to go and press the bell down at the bottom for the next achievement, which is Deja Vu, uh, I actually had to go and speed run back through the game to get to that point again just to collect it. But yeah, I uh, didn't do it the first time. After shining the light at then the big dementia ball inside of the lobby, uh, I don't know how that's there. I guess they sort of picked it out my mind and was like, this is a great ornament. Into the next area now and we're inside of Pinwheel Village. Our first projector is in a doctor's surgery and a cinema. I don't get how that works. We write down our appointment in this very weird combination of two buildings, which this has absolutely nothing to do with that being a doctor's surgery, apart from this is the way into the cinema because there's no other door in at the moment. The other one's locked. So to get here, there's a secret staircase inside of a doctor's surgery that takes him directly to a cinema. Once we're in the cinema, we want to head straight upstairs and instead of finding a film reel, nope, uh, Morse code paper, then put it into a little Morse code machine, have it read out the Morse code, decode the Morse code and then find out that it's the emergency assembly point that we have to then type in and then that's that projector built. On to our next projector and outside of the school where this projector is located there is noughts and crosses drawn out on the floor. A few people have had a few games but the actual answer to this one is what the pub sign is. There's a pub here and it's got noughts and crosses on it so obviously that's the answer to this one. This school isn't reading of mice and men or inspector calls, instead they're reading the grumpy knocker. You have to type this one in because this is what the school is focused on and it's part for the projector. And then also for the spellings here we have a word that will troll our American audience and and instead of wrench, you have to put down spanner because that's what we call the specific item. Although we do also use the word wrench for a very similar tool. There is just for this for this specific task in a made up game inside of a dementia woman's mind. We are using the word spanner here. I'm very sorry. We then have to grab a paintbrush and then start painting a wall until a, a door sort of comes out of the wall. I know you have dementia, right? But I'm pretty sure this never happened. Once the door is open, we have to walk down inside. We then have to open this chest and grab a bit of sheet music. Then that's that projector completely done. Into field ciders now and we're going to open the door with the key that we found earlier or well, at least try to. And then we go upstairs and then we've got a little crane game to play. Oh my god, we had to get some apples from a claw machine. No way. We have to drop them in the hydraulic press and then press them and then they go in a little tube all the way over to this bottle which we then have to fill up and then you know put back in this cart. Basically we just did paid work for free uh, and then we built a projector. Very cool. For the next projector we have to fill out where this shipment is going and then we use the glass bottle that we found earlier to you know we obviously crushed it, turn it into a knife and then we go around cutting this innocent person's pipes a door opens, we bang a little tune, and then a minecart rolls up with a little man on it. Uh, that's a little man for later, but we got a little man out of it, and actually that's a projector done as well. The next projector is in the church, and it's actually ran off the church bells, but what you need to do is actually go press bells all over the place to make these ropes spawn in, and then once you've done that, you take that sheet music, put it on the piano, and then copy it out and ring it on some bells, and the projector was such a big fan of these ringing bells that it decided to come back to life. On to our last area now, and we're currently looking at a puzzle that seems very familiar considering that we've done it before, but one of the valves is missing. This is also for another projector that's in this area. All you have to do is whack some pipes, wait for this little wheel to turn up on a really pimped out minecart, take that wheel and put it on the thing, and then adjust the things so they're okay. Watch the water fill up and then go, oh my god, this is way too high, and then adjust the thing on a thing, and pull the lever on the thing, and then it's all fixed. As I walk over to this phone, this is another achievement called Concern, where we listen to all six voicemail messages. These are on little phones that are dotted around the map. I didn't think it was important to include this until we had got the achievement, and this is the final one for us. As you can see, all of the little dots on the phone have been filled in. This next projector is really simple and really fun, and also really nicely straightforward. This whole area is actually really great, so I definitely, I definitely recommend you actually play this game and try it yourself. But you have to get these film, film reels in order. Uh, well, they could be taped 
tape reels. I don't know. You know the ones that got audio recording on it. You got to put them in a certain order, and then once they're together, uh, then you play the message, and then the projector builds itself. Considering this is where I get the last one, there is a achievement called the Knocker for collecting all of these little Knocker men. Uh, this is obviously from that book that we found out about in the school. If you collect all nine of these, you will hear the full story tale of the Knocker, and you will receive the achievement. For the next projector, this is a room filled with poles and cog things. This one is super simple, you have to press on these things and some of them go down and they stay down and some of them you press and they will come back up. So it's like a sort of like, oh guess which ones which will stay down and then if you press the wrong one they all come up again. So you've got to get all of them to stay down and once they've all stayed down, the thing powers on and the projector builds itself. Time for a very 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 complex little projector here. And these puzzles in this game are very difficult, especially when you have no idea what you're meant to be doing this one is hard to figure out because I had no idea what was going on first of all you need a Bible to pay respects to each different uh, you know like book stand you need to put the Bible on each one to bless all of the miners that have obviously passed and then you have to blow out a certain amount of candles until a set number is left which I believe is 12 or you have to blow out 12 one of the two it is a very confusing it's just confusing. It straight up is it, it's hard, especially when you don't know what you're doing 100%. This is a toughie, but it's a very cool puzzle and very nice indeed. Since it's on screen and I can't really hide it, there is one called defragmentation, which is obviously where this red ribbon on my lamp comes from. If you get all of the memory fragments and you collect them all, these are all the ribbons that are dotted around the place that you should be doing for the main game, which I haven't really shown off because this was more focused on the achievement side, so you can play the game for yourself and enjoy it. Uh, yeah, defragmentation. You get this one for collecting all the ribbons. Here we are, the final projector and the one that stumped me when I was in secondary school and I think I was about uh, year nine yeah a bit of an idiot year nine I could not do this plus this was on controller and I could not tell what was going on and to be honest it took I got lost again I I, 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 I couldn't turn around didn't know where I was it was just a pitch black screen I thought I'd soft lock the game I just couldn't find where I was I was just stuck on a wall looking at it unless you play this you will not understand how difficult it is but I will just show this now. Whilst I run around in the dark for what seemingly no reason, uh, yeah, we, we got one called Genius. You know why? Because we fixed 15 projectors. That's right. And then, and then I did it. That's what I did it. I finished this stupid little projector. I turned all the lights on. You can see where all the cages are now. Oh my god, look at this. All I had to do was run around in the dark for, uh, and find some cages that turn off after a while and then losing my bearings and then didn't know where to go. Yeah, it's done. We, we're so cool lucid achievement yay oh my god 20 projectors finally woo this isn't all of the achievements by the way there's still a handful more to go and these achievements it couldn't be more straightforward if you tried honestly great achievements just straight to the point do these things and get them done restorer restore all of the plaques yeah okay i can do that for you yeah look at my lamp it builds things very cool and then photography oh take photos of traumatic events in your mind oh uh yep yeah, done that for you oh and fill all the shelves in the case and call myself a hoarder absolutely mate i can do that for you and that brings us to this beautiful image of all of the achievements 100%ed. Very, very nice. Oh, I'm so glad to see this. Very nice. I mean, it's not as satisfying as a platinum trophy and that going on my PlayStation account. But to be fair, uh, I don't have a console anymore, so can't really get hyped about that. But if you do want to see the ending for this game, I de definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that you play it. It's very cheap. You might even have it on your PS4 because it was free for a time in 2015. So you might even have it in your library without even realizing. But it's a a great game definitely give it a go and collect all the achievements have fun with the puzzles enjoy yourself even though i kind of gave away how you do most of them i did accidentally cut a few steps out just to make sure that you didn't use this as a guide more as this is a entertainment video of me getting all the achievements uh, than using this as a guide or anything but do enjoy uh, thank you very much for all for watching uh, i hope you did actually enjoy the video and do go enjoy this game i really do hope that you enjoyed this video it was very satisfying to pull off and i hope all of the editing and stuff was all worth it and i'm just going to say a quick thank you to all of my money havers these are members from the channel they help you know support and uh, 
pay for me to stay alive so thank you very much to Andrew, Grim, Luna and Francis thank you ever so much for supporting the channel and if you'd like to become one yourself you know press the join button down below that's what it's there for uh, but yeah subscribe for more of this stuff if you want to see more like achievement 100% videos I definitely plan on doing more of games that I played when I was younger and I never got all the achievements so I'm going to go back and do those but subscribe for more and I'll see you a lot later goodbye